Well, hello, I'm Michael Long to AC's Make and Repair. This afternoon I'm just going to show you quickly how I did these knobs for the feed levers on my drill press. Uh, I didn't have any on there, and for many years I used it with it. I'll show you the before of how I didn't have any on it, and I'll just show you quickly how I knocked them up. Wasn't that much to do with them, just a quick little job, quick little project, should have done it many years ago. I'll show you how to do it now. So here's my feed lever or feed handle, some people might call it. So I picked this old drill press up probably about 20 years ago from a scrap yard and the, the ones that were on it, well I think there was only one on it when I got it the rest were broken off um, so I just put some 3.8 cuff head bolts in it just to get me by but I've never ever put a knob on the end here so I'm going to get around to doing it after 20 years been using it for that long without a knob on the end of that but I'm going to do it and show you how I did it Firstly I cut some hardwood down to 40 by 40 millimetres and they get three blocks equally at 75 millimetres long I then drilled a clearance hole to fit the bolt through I later recessed the head of the cuphead bolt about 3mm into the end of the block of wood to incorporate the head of the cuphead bolt in the end of the knob. I then fitted the bolt in the wood into a 3 jaw chuck I have on my lathe. I already drilled a centre hole in the end of the cuphead bolt and I turned it down between the jaws of the chuck and the centre to roughly 40mm. I did use a sizing tool as you'll see in a minute, uh, to get it down to 40 millimetres in diameter. That's why I kept all of them equal in diameter. After I'd turned the end profile of the handle that I liked, I stopped the lathe, then proceeded to mark out a 40mm mark from the end of the bolt, so as to keep that roughly spherical, that um, knob part of the handle.
After I turned the knob to roughly what I wanted, I then proceeded to rough out and taper down the other piece of timber beside the knob towards the end of the blank. I then sanded with a couple of different grits of sandpaper to make it nice and smooth. After it's sanded, I put a burn ring in the side of the knob. I then proceeded to wax the knob down with some, some soft paste floor wax that I've actually got. It works quite good on this type of application. After I'd done the first one, I went on to turn the two consecutive knobs on the other two handles. So we'll just speed through this part and I'll show the end product.
I then fitted the handles. Thanks for joining us today as I did those knobs for the V levers and the drill press here. Um, I'll give you a couple of close-ups of it uh, now that I've finished. And uh, you could do this sort of thing yourself if you've got a little lathe or uh, your friend's got a lathe you could even borrow. Or there's a lot of clubs around that have lathes too, little wood-turning clubs and woodworkers clubs. So don't, uh, don't be shy, give it a go. You know, that's how you get to know how to do stuff. Get in and give it a go. You'll be surprised what you might be able to do. Don't be disheartened, just keep trying and you'll perfect an art that you might not even know you have at this point in time. Thanks for viewing. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're reminded every time one of my videos come on. Suggest me to your friends, I'd really appreciate that. Anyhow, until next time, bye for now. I may even end up shortening the handle because uh, this is fairly long but it doesn't seem to get in the road so I'll see how it goes if it doesn't seem to be getting in the road too much I'll uh, I'll leave the, the length they are but I can shorten it right down I can cut them threads back fairly well I just put bolts in there that I had at the time I think all right catch you later bye